You've heard what the BJP is saying. They're saying this is a photo op. Rahul Gandhi is being irresponsible by traveling to Manipur at a time when the situation is still fragile and unsettled. How do you respond? Um, Rajdi, just a week back or four days back, what did Mr. Narendra Modi say in the United States? Democracy is in my blood, in my way. It is the right of the opposition leader to go to a strike prone area. What is wrong? The Prime Minister, I must say today, shameful that the Prime Minister of India has time for everything to go and inaugurate the Bande Bharat Express after he's come back. We asked him to go before, but he, he, he refused. Now, after coming back from the US trip, he has no time to go to Manipur. Let's understand that 10 opposition parties were waiting from June 15th onwards to meet, June 10th onwards to meet the Prime Minister of India. He refused to meet. His own members of parliament, I mean, sorry, his own uh, BJP MLAs, from there, eight of them came to meet him, no. 30 others came to meet him, no. None of them were given any time to meet him. And eight MLAs from uh, Manipur has given a memorandum to the uh, PMO saying that they have lost trust in the government. Their own BJP MLAs, let's understand that. They are saying that they have lost trust in the Bidin Singh government. Now, what is Mr. Amit Shah doing? Mr. Amit Shah is the uh, Home Minister. He went there. He's unable to. What we are asking is, why is the Prime Minister of India, who has time for everything, not spoken a word on Manipur? Let's understand that. No, I asked you about, Ra I asked you about Rahul Gandhi. I asked you about Rahul Gandhi going to Churachandpur at a time when the situation there is unsettled. You are telling me why hasn't the Prime Minister broken his silence? No, Gandhi, is that the Rahul argument? Gandhi Rahul Gandhi should go because he nothing has been. He's a senior leader, senior opposition leader. And my leader has got empathy. He's heard that more than 100 people have died, more than 60,000 are in 300 relief camps, and the fighting is still going on. So what is wrong in an opposition leader going there to see things? And that's why he wanted to drive in. Did you see what the women wanted to do there? Look. Yeah, just a minute, ma'am. Just a minute, ma'am. Now, you, you've had your point. Uh, Shama Mohamad, Shama Mohamad, you've made your point. Just a minute now. No, no, now let's go to... Shama Mohammed, one minute. Let's go to Rajat Sethi. Rajat Sethi, we are, in a, we are in a situation where more than 60 days after the violence broke out on the 3rd and 4th of May, the government of India has not, the Prime Minister has not broken his silence. BJP guests don't even want to come to television panel debates on Manipur saying we will not speak on Manipur. Amit Shah ji went for three days from the 28th of May to the 30th of May. Another fresh round of violence broke out on the 2nd of June after the Home Minister was there. Is there a sense that the centre and the state government at the moment are struggling to handle Manipur and don't want the reality of Manipur to come out? So if Rahul Gandhi goes there and tries to provide a healing touch, why does it become a photo op? Rajdeep ji, there are at least three or four questions that you've bundled together allow me to you know go through them individually first thing uh, is Rahul Gandhi's visit there is absolutely no problem it's a free democracy anybody can go to any corner but please understand that you know Rahul Gandhi is in a habit of crisis tourism anytime you look at Saharanpur, Dadri they, wherever there is a crisis when it is not in his government or Congress government he loves to go there and tries to, you know, uh, utilize uh, uh, the opportunity for, for political uh, brownie points. Manipur hasn't been facing this violence for the first time. In 2017, when the Congress Chief Minister, 15 years Chief Minister Ribobi Singh, brought in certain rules, certain laws uh, by the name of MLR law, the entire tribal population, both the Kuki and the Naga, went ahead and blocked the, the national highways for 150 days. People in the valley did not have food. They had no access to medicine, no access to patrol. Did Rahul Gandhi in any of these 150 days ever travel to Manipur and try to, you know, uh, go there and, and carry his uh, uh, Mohabbat ki dukan over there? Did he attempt to even break the, uh, you know, the log jam that was there when Ibobi Singh was the chief minister? No, I'll, 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 I'll raise that, that Shama Mohammed, but you're not answering. Why is the government so silent? 
Why the is the government, Rajat Sethi, Rajat Sethi, the Prime Minister speaks on the Gujarat earthquake. He is allowing me the, the, to... Uh, on the Gujarat cyclone. Uh, uh, a, the Prime Minister speaks on Gujarat vote, cyclone, inaugurates One Day Bharat Express, it doesn't go to Manipur or speak on allow, it. Allow me a minute. Yes, please. Sir, Rahul Gandhi was attempting today to go to Churachandpur via the Tridim line which goes through Bishnupur. Do you know that the SP, the Superintendent of Police over there was pleading before him that sir please our security forces are in, in live operations please don't disturb them because if there is a VIP movement we are getting inputs that there is an IED a chance for an IED blast and you are and Rahul Gandhi is actually traveling in a bulletproof car he won't have any injuries but there is a whole cavalcade of people who are traveling with him who is going to be responsible for the lives of those citizens and then he claims that he wants to do a road show all the way from Imphal Valley till Churachandpur Valley that's the level of responsibility this gentleman has. Okay. Um, so I, I will raise that with the government spokesperson, but I'm Mata not getting Banerjee, a straight answer. Why Mata do you Banerjee think that the BJP Mata leadership Mata is so Mata silent? Mata Why Banerjee is the BJP the leadership minister. so silent? Mamta Banerjee wrote to the Home Minister and asked for permission, asking her that is this the right time to go? Clearly the MHS said that no, it's not the right time. And she responsibly withheld. That's the responsibility of a mature leadership, mature political leadership, not trying to make uh, brownie points when okay. the situation is... You made right. that point. I, you want a quick not. answer to the question I keep reiterating? Why is the BJP leadership so silent? Opposition but MLAs come to Delhi, they are not given an audience with the Prime Minister. The Home Rajdeep. Minister holds one all-party meeting after 55 days. Rajdeep ji, you know all the deliberations that are going on in the MHA won't be reported on television studios. Even today, even yesterday, there were delegations of Metis and Koki leaders who were brought in from Manipur and di discussions are happening. It's just that every time there is a debate or a discussion happening internal, is not going to be reported to the media. I am telling you this, there are serious talks, but these are not political issues in the sense that political parties shouldn't be brought in at this stage. There is a whole apparatus. Ministry of Home trying to reach out to both the parties. You need professional negotiators to come in and bring a common ground between the two communities. You need conflict, professional conflict managers to handle this. Allow the bureaucracy, the senior most people okay. who have actually worked there. What does Rahul Gandhi know about Manipur? Answer me that straight question.